uh, in this video I will explain how to become a Microsoft certified trainer I will walk you through the steps uh, to understand how to become a Microsoft certified trainer I am Sanjay Pradhan and I am a Microsoft certified trainer and I am giving training last five to six years to candidates in Dynamics 365 and Power Platform so let's start how to become a Microsoft certified trainer concept if we go down uh, you can see here the URL is docmicrosoft.com then MCD certification here you, you will find many information available here okay there is a link called as you know uh, MCD support if you have any queries you can just click on this MCD support then you can ask any question here right can just uh, but it requires to log in right uh, Microsoft account uh, login is required you can just click on this ask a question then you can ask any question regarding Microsoft certified trainer concept right okay so uh, the first thing is we have to meet the requirement to enroll as a Microsoft certified trainer right so before so before uh, discussing about the enrollment uh, we can discuss about the program benefits what are the benefits of uh, being a microsoft certified trainer as a microsoft certified trainer you will gain access to a personalized dashboard that means when you open the certification dashboard uh, of microsoft then you will find that there are some new links that are available which are related to microsoft certified trainers if you go down you can see there are some additional resources which are only specific to mcts we have the mct central access we have a renew your uh, mct certification link here and signing up for mct newsletters and mct support forum is also available for you being an mct so these are all the personalized mct dashboard how it looks like and uh, you will get a badge uh, beds are for Microsoft certified trainer and uh, let me uh, let me show you my badge what I got okay before it loads let me go through again to the uh, go down let me go down if you see here MCD Central you will get you know uh, you have access to the MCD Central which helps MCTs to stay up to date with the information related to Microsoft Certified Trainer Central and uh, if you want to explore more benefits about MCTs you can just click on this link it will give you a PDA version and with all benefits that are available for MCTs these are all the tools and resources MCT software and services are available Azure Pass program Microsoft Lab Access right learning download center some learning center learning information uh, slides are free to download 75 percent discount on all microsoft certification exams okay if you you are a microsoft certified trainer then you do not have to pay 100 percent of the certification fees rather it will be 7 percent 75 percent discount on uh, your certification so these are all the benefits we have with us being a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Yes, uh, I was just uh, discussing about my logo you see here. So once you are certified, this badge will be assigned to you. And uh, you can use this badge uh, for benefits. Right. Okay. So this is the MCT Central. I have clicked this MCT Central and you will find there are many resources that are available for trainers which, who are Microsoft certified, right? You can access the premium resources that are available in MCT Central, right? And the, in, in some videos, they will uh, give you suggestions how to train, how to provide uh, excellent training to candidates being a Microsoft certified trainer. So, so these are all the benefits and you can also renew your bank renew your microsoft certified certified trainer certificate every one year because the validity for mct is one year now let's discuss what are the requirements the first requirement is you should be the first requirement is you should have the mandatory certification which are 
required for being enrolled as a MCT, right? The first step is possesses a current Microsoft certification or qualification eligible for Microsoft program. See the below list or qualifying certification. Now, if you go down, so these are all the certifications that are available, which are mandatory to be enrolled to enroll in Microsoft Certified Trainer. For example, let me say, let me see, uh, let's say this is the. Uh, let me show you this is Microsoft Certified Dynamics 360 Sales Functional Consultant Associate. So this certification I have done, so which requires to pass two certification exams. If you go down, you have to uh, pass MB200 and also MB210. Once you uh, take these two exam and uh, get passed in these two exam, you will get a certificate called as Microsoft Certified dynamic sales functional consultant associate now this is the uh, gate pass to be enrolled in uh, uh, dynamics uh, enrolled as a microsoft certified trainer right so this is dynamics 365 stream so you can use any stream that you are expert in but one certification is mandatory to have with you right so this is the first step right once the first step is done you will have to uh, provide uh, the instructional skills certification right either you can uh, uh, get certification from these uh, institutes who are giving instructional skill certification otherwise if your manager or if you, or if your uh, company colleague is aware of that you are you know you are already giving training since last uh, uh, more than one year then you can just provide your personal reference supporting at least one year of uh, instructional experience so once you provide the personal reference uh, for instructional skills then microsoft will send a uh, send an email to the uh, person but uh, uh, do not use uh, personal email ids use the official email ids now the person to whom you have selected as a personal reference will get an email to approve that uh, you are actually giving training and once uh, the person will approve then you have to provide the payment and the actually uh, process will start right so if you click here program guide you see a pdf file here not this one let me enrollment guide right so here it will give some uh, important information here if you go down so this is so there is a procedure written here how to enroll as a new mct right you have to first login and then once the login appears you have to give your username password then after you log in the enrollment tool the profile page appears and the second login if you are a Microsoft partner or Microsoft Center, you will need enter pass Microsoft partner login and credential, or you can use other. I have used other uh, because I am not a partner or I am not a you know a government employee. So once you have uh, given that, so I have chosen this other option, and once you click next, then in the requirement phase it will be validated that whether you have uh, the required certification or not with you once it is validated then it will pass to the next stage here you can give the certification uh, instructional uh, skill certification here otherwise you can just uh, click on this personal reference to provide a personal reference can see here in the personal reference you can see you can give an institute who can certify you that uh, uh, they are aware of uh, your training quality training uh, experience you can see here upon receipt of your proof of instructional skills and your payment the application will take up to 10 business days right so once it is done you have to accept the terms and conditions and after giving the payment in the last stage it will take uh, 24 to 
48 business hours to uh, send and welcome emailer from Microsoft, right? Let me check my email that I got. Now, if I will go down, let me check that email that has been sent by Microsoft once the MCT has been approved. This one so once the MCT is approved you will get an email like welcome to MCT program they will send you a email welcome in email with all related links for downloading your badge and uh, the free subscriptions and MCT central links so you can also order your uh, certification uh, hard copy by using this welcome kit uh, option here so that's all about MCT, okay? Thank you for your time.